definitely at a moment of, uh, uh, of a major crisis with uh, the Israel-Gaza uh, uh, conflict. So there was a lot of uh, uh, curiosity on my side on how the conference will address that. Fortunately, today the news with what's going on in the Gaza uh, Strip is offering us this opportunity to talk about uh, this. It's important that the EU gets engaged. We see this increasingly on Israel-Palestine uh, with very tragic circumstances, what's happening right now uh, with the latest round of, of war that is happening there. By no means an escalation of that conflict uh, should be a surprise to anyone. Uh, just because a conflict doesn't have raging violence every day doesn't mean it has gone away or is resolved, but this conflict has been pushed to one side. We have youth-led organizations uh, that promote interfaith and intercultural uh, encounters in order to provide a platform for young people to better engage. At the level of security, for example, it's not enough to just say we're going to seek stabilization. What's very important is how the stabilization happens and whether human rights, for example, is a component uh, in reaching stabilization. The tragedy that is unfolding I think appeals to all of us to really concentrate our minds, our hearts, our actions in trying to stop the violence, trying to get to a ceasefire, trying to open humanitarian corridors and access to Gaza, uh, try to prevent regional escalation. Um, so I would say start now with a serious review um, of, of the strategy um, and make sure that in the mandate of the next commission we have a new approach um, that is based on uh, listening, based on reasonable responses and based on the instruments that we have in Europe, um, including our, our whole framework uh, related to human rights and cooperation.